Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I'm here for a classic card today. We'll probably round out our lifetime with a generate tomorrow, uh, and then we will be on 3.0. Yeah, I wanted to say, we're gonna play, I wanna make sure first before I go on. Yeah, okay. I wanted to say, shout out to Cranberry. You should probably go check out his Slicer Dicers and uh, say, haha, liberal. But no, actually you should go check it out because he is on like the biggest streak of his life. He's on like a, he's in the mid twenties, I'm pretty sure. He's gonna do a big push, I think he said before 3.0 to get in on the leaderboards, which, you know, very exciting. I know that he's got like a a win streak tamer coming up. I know he's, he's in like the, I think he's on 24 right now. So he's going for 25 on his YouTuber today. So, you know, it's, it's probably already up as well. So you can go check that out after you watch this video. You better not leave, I'll know. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into it. I've been clicking Monster Pristine a lot lately and I've been liking it a lot. We have a pretty good team here too with Cultist Lost. I think that Monster Pristine is only really bad if you run into a bunch of early snipers. So I'm going to not do that. But even if I do, I can use Cultist to cheat them a little bit because we have Cut and I can use Lost as well. So I think it's very fine, but you know. Uh, also coming up you know i guess i'll talk about this now i wasn't sure when i wanted to mention this but i'll, I'll talk about it now ahead of 3.0 i was sent a few keys for the game by tan uh, which i will probably do a giveaway for i'm gonna have i think three to give away so uh, i'll probably do it in the discord so hop in the discord i'm most likely what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna uh do like a react to this message we'll pick whirl here by the way for Monster Pristine. Uh, I'll do it. I'll probably put out a message in one of my announcements channels and be like, hey, react to this if you want a chance to win the key. And I'll just do like a little drawing. Most likely what I will do is I will uh, just say like react to this message and then I will uh, like look at all the reactions and roll a die and pull that three times. So if you want a chance to win, it's no, no early access or anything like that. I don't have early access. We wait until uh, 3.0 hits on Steam, but they are Steam keys, so. You want Basilisk's scale here? Maybe. Sorry, wrong one. I'm looking for, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this button. Oh my god. I don't hate it. I've had it be okay, and I think it might be, it's probably worth re-rolling, but yeah, Barkskin, it's like, whatever. Sure. I suppose. But yeah. Uh, excited. Hope you guys are excited as well. I think most people are pretty, pretty hyped up for 3.0. I'm, you know, no exaggeration. I do believe Slice and Dice is the best roguelike strategy game I've ever played. It's, if it's not this, the only game I think comes close in my mind, even worth considering in the same breath is Into the Breach. Every other game has something that I think is wrong with it. Uh, Into the Breach is a very strong contender, though. You gotta give it up. Uh, is there anything? There's like, there is like one thing I don't like about Into the Breach, which is we go night here. I think Ranger is not it. The only thing about Into the Breach that I think is a little bit a shame is the final island. I really don't like that you don't know what the enemies are going to, or where the pylons are going to go on the final island. Other than that, though, I think Into the Breach is a golden game. It is, especially, uh, you know, the other problem I had with it, I guess, up until recently is that it was a little too easy. You know, no, no disrespect, but it was kind of free. I don't like to call games that people find hard easy, because it's like, arrogant i feel but hard mode was something that didn't really grip me in i love remedy by the way if you don't like this spell you should really rethink i know you're thinking heal one cleanse there's a big thing that this does and it's it breaks pain and death for you so remedy is really really good at fixing bad basalt rolls where he's just sitting there throwing death at you you get to cancel one of his deaths and get your turn back. Because I've been thinking about this a lot. I know Basalt is one of the hard bosses. And I agree. Don't get, don't get it twisted. I'm not about to tell you I think Basalt is easy. Uh, 
I do not. That's absurd. He's for sure the hardest boss in the game. Uh, someone was in the Discord the other day saying, hey, what's the trick to beating Basalt? It feels like he just claps my ass every time, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> he sure does. Uh, agree, buddy, agree. But one of the things that you do to beat that boss, you have to recognize that he's a slow play boss. You have to really uh, win the long game versus him. And he's very good at winning the long game because he steals turns from you. His flanking weaken and his death are basically turn thefts, where he takes one of your characters and says they don't get to take a turn this round. And so you beat him by reclaiming your turns, basically. I'm really one off here? Come on. Yeah, you beat him by reclaiming your turns, and you can do that with uh, cleanse. And this item in particular will let you get away with it very well. Also, it's a tier 2 item, which is not a big ask. Enchanter is interesting. I think she's typically... You, you need support for her, but I don't love Jester over Cultist. I think that this is a little bit of bias, though, if I skip Jester here. I'm not happy about it, but I need to give Jester some respect. Skipping... Taking Enchanter there is crazy, but it's, like, it's sort of like picking Statue in that position. Uh, if you click on statue there, it's not, like, crazy. It's just kind of silly. Wow, that looked a lot worse than it was. Is Whirl? I guess with 9 HP, he's pretty good. But. Let me go... Click. I should... Pr I, I don't need to kill the snake. You can tunnel in on the snake all you want. But. The one poison it's putting on me isn't going to make a difference. Because I'm going to most likely win on this turn anyway, and we would much rather have the ability to, you know, use our mana accordingly. Hate Sprout. I just... I, I don't hate Sprout. I think it's okay, but you have to play long, slow fights. And as many people seem to point out, I don't do that. I don't like to do that. Uh, it's not that I can't do that, but... I, I almost feel like I'm getting psyoped by people into thinking that I'm some sort of like hyper aggressive player. I'm not. I just think that playing aggressive is the smart way to play in this game. Because it really, I mean, it is. If I don't lock this three, I'm in a lot of trouble, actually. Yeah, okay. Because like you can whiff here real bad and then get put into the dumpster. I didn't. But if I don't lock that three and I can't break this pristine and kill the quartz, I'm in a lot of trouble. You would much rather shield there than anything else, but sometimes it's like that. I can hold the three mana. Droopy Hat is like, it's mostly good because it gives you two HP. Holding extra mana isn't so, so good. It's just fine. Foot. I forgot he had a reroll side. We're going for lethal here. I have a feeling that I already have. Yeah, I have to fight a lot. Gambler Priestess. Ah. I have said, and I don't necessarily think this is 100% correct, but I have said that I think Priestess is the worst tier 2 in the game. Not even just the worst tier 2 red. I think this is the weakest tier 2. Gambler's a little bit of a bottom barreler, but they're a little bit better with Jester, so... It's okay, it's just, it sucks to go from the big consistent damage output to Gambler. But I'll be alright. With the plus one reroll on Jester, we have slightly higher odds of not missing, which is ideal. I'd love to just roll a dodge here, though. Plus six. We roll. Ow. What are you hitting me for? You're hitting me for twelve. I'm dead exactly on Gambler. I mean, I gotta roll all of this. That's okay, Gambler. It's growing pains. You'll do all right next turn. Don't worry, buddy. I believe in you. I have the utmost confidence. We're so fucked. <laughs> don't, don't let Gambler hear that I told you this. We're so fucked. It's so over. You're gonna do great here, Gambler. I have, I have the utmost confidence. I'm sure you're gonna get this one. I have full, full power belief in you. <laughs> uh, 
I like video games. They're really fun. We're fine here. It's not a big deal either way. Bell is just gonna gong himself to death. Game Boy, I'll take a two. You know what, Game Boy? I'll take a one. Fine. You did fine. Great job, buddy. Demon Eye Whirl is kind of cute. Three damage to all is cool. I think that this is a very, a very telling choice. Mini Crossbow is a lot of consistency and it's very good for someone who's gonna be rolling to zero every turn. Uh, and it's basically always good because there's always gonna be someone with a right X. Demon Eye is looking for a big high roll. I think Demon Eye can carry you into the end game, but giving Gambler another way to roll something meaningful is good. Hmm. Punished. Uh, plus 16, by the way. <laughs> what are they doing to brother? This, this dude is not walking ever again. We go flick here. Hmm. I am just shy. No, I'm not. I'm stupid. It's like this. You're clear. Good job, Gambler. You did two damage. All I needed. I feel like I'm going to wake up in a cold sweat. Okay, thank God. It's like, you could show me... You could show me here, like, Medic Disciple, and I think I would just be... I would, I would begrudgingly click on Disciple, I think. But... This team right here, Gambler, Whirl, Knight, Acolyte, Chester, this is like, I'm fucking screaming. Actually, let me, let me print screen this. I want to put this in the Discord and see what people believe. Let me, uh, let me, let me grab that one in there. And we're going to go Herbalist, of course. I think we will uh, rejoice at Herbalist being here in this fight, though. I almost want to give her the droopy hat, but she's probably fine. I honestly, I should probably give the droopy hat to Jester. I really like localizing all of my HP on one guy, though. And Whirl makes a lot of sense, since you will sometimes want to put put bursts into night. But something I'm noticing here is that 11 HP is making it so that Whirl is just unkillable. They also don't target him, so that might be playing into it a little bit. But he's kind of, you know, he's pulling his weight. Oh, Gambler! I knew you could do it. Oh, Jester. When one gambler hits, the other one trips and falls and pisses all over the floor. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Jester, by the way, part of what I think is good about him is you get this one for one. Even though it's on cooldown, getting the one for one is still very good. But he's just completely fucking trivialized by Herbalist showing up. So, I don't know. Tough, isn't it? Isn't it? Let's go. I, I think sometimes you're supposed to lock the one there. I don't know. It's like a hard call. Because you want to go for... It's actually not that hard of a call. You want to go for... Sorry, I'm, I'm like actually stun locked. What the... Okay, there's not a great way to do this. It'd be nice to do it a little differently, but this is fine. And then I just let you die to poison. It'd be nice to kill the quartz there, but it actually doesn't matter because the quartz never does damage. So you don't have to care. Chocolate bar. This is ranged to all sides. Chocolate bar is chain engage, death wish... Rule? I don't have any of those. I go Shining Bow. It's very nice to have this. I'm not Shining Bow's biggest fan, but it makes Triple Shuriken a lot better. I like taking things that have multiple value points. Uh, this makes it so that we have an easier time fighting Hexia in case we see her, because we can just make one of our guys immune to Pain Mirror. And it makes triple shuriken a little better. So there's two solid use cases. Honestly, I might just let this guy swing. I guess he ends up about the same if I go like plus three. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Hmm. 
Hmm. I need a shield out of night. We need to not get lost here. Oh, very good. I'm not using world shield. I won't be doing that. Thank you. Three, three. Okay, you know, Knight actually he doesn't have shield size. People think he's a shielding character. He's actually got a gun. He just hits people. Fencer over Gambler. This is like, I know, I imagine you look at this pick and you just go, oh yeah, obviously Fencer. Uh, I also feel like I should go that way, but I'm really glad that I don't because I want to take the time to think about picks like this because it seems obvious. Doesn't mean it is obvious. I think I value Fencer a little less. I am going to end up on Fencer here because Herbalist is very good. I just want to say you should take the time to think about every choice. It's not as obvious as it may seem, but Fencer is the pick here. The issue with Fencer is the HP, I think. Being on 7 is gross. Being on 9, less gross. But I also, I know that people hate Wraith. Like, so many people despise Wraith. I think Wraith is fine. I don't really get the hate. She does all right. Would really like to roll your dodge here, Fencer. Okay, whatever. Because you're just getting petrified now. Three. And I think Joey Bones here needs to go to hell. I want to bank mana though, because... So, another thing I see people say a lot is... Or like a theory here is like, why wouldn't you just kill this Bones? Great question. Very, very good question. I think it's unintuitive, actually. But it's good to leave this Bones alive because uh, you, you want to save your three mana. Jester's going to three HP, that's true. If this Bones goes to finish him off next turn, we can kill it then. If this Bones doesn't attack him, I'm saving mana to save someone else's life, right? So imagine on the next turn, instead of Jester, Jester's at full HP, right? And this Bones is dead. But now this Bones and Lich both target the same target and I just roll really shittily. Suddenly, I'm losing this character because I can't do anything to the other Bones. And Jester is sitting there at full HP and 3 HP, which are the same amount. That's the, the short of it. There's a little bit more to it. Like, sometimes you'll want to... Uh, a lot of times it doesn't matter, I guess is the best way to put it. A lot of times it's not going to matter because you're always going to roll the answer. But this game isn't about a lot of times. This game is about a little time. This game is about the... For, for hard win streaking, it's about the, the one in a hundred that you're going to face every now and then. It's not about the right now. Now here, we're definitely just going to flick. And I will... Same sort of theory, right? There's no reason to kill things that aren't doing anything to you. Also, setting this bones to one means that I can kill it off with cleave damage later, which we have a lot of... Things like that. I think we roll. Yeah, we can... Do here. I'm just going to be taking one to all here, which is not a big deal. Shoot there. I think it's lethal. It's probably lethal, right? You know, three, one. Yeah, okay. Arma is heal, shield, and aim. Shield knight is kind of interesting. I don't think it's very good, but I guess poodle's okay. Let me look at the reds again. Doctor uses it. Surgeon's okay with it. Not one of them. Oh, Prophet really likes Poodle. Prophet's the one. I'll take it. It's a... We're building for the future with this. You're out of your mind. <laughs> uh, and then target with the same health. Should maybe go to Fencer, but whoever has 9 HP and yeah, nobody... I also think Poodle, yeah, it doesn't apply to this effect, the one damage to all, because you not you don't get to target. You're not targeting with it. We'll be fine like this. This is where Whirl really gets to shine too. Or Fencer. Uh, we don't actually. Wow. Never mind. I can roll. I was gonna say we don't need to take the risk here, but we can. We certainly can. 
So another good point here is to not waste your swings on these snipers because you want to make sure that you're getting value out of your sides where you can. You see, I'm practicing for the beginner's guide video that I'm going to make in a few days. You want to maximize your value. When you lock that dodge, you're saying I'm not killing these snipers. Otherwise, you're just wasting your turn. You want to make sure that you are cognizant of things like that. You want to be aware. This is fine. Get maximize, and sometimes it's okay to lose value. I think my biggest flaw in this game is that sometimes I uh, try to over max my value. And, uh, you know, sometimes you'll fuck yourself over trying to absolutely maximize, but, you know, you kind of just deal. Keeper is the pick here for sure. I would not click Witch in this spot. Uh, I think Witch is okay. What's wrong with Witch? I mean, Witch is inconsistent, right? If this side was, it, instead of heal three cleave, you just copy one of the other sides, then I probably like this unit a lot more. But I go Keeper. Keeper with Dog can actually hit some big sides too. We can hit some fours on Repel. Most of my team has the same HP, which is nice. Mm, Whirl, you have better sides. Whirl does not have better things to do here. Three, two. Okay. Sure. It's not particularly threatening. Another big one here. So obviously I can keep the mana. You're not keeping mana here. I'm sure you can guess. There's like It's like a set of rules that stack on top of each other. The number one rule is to make sure that you are intangibling both ghosts. Am I crazy? Does that come out to be exactly the same? Hold on, I gotta look at this now. It does! Whoa! That's kind of cool. It's because the ghost goes intangible, so getting the plus damage doesn't matter. That's neat. Things will look scary for the moment, but do not be afraid. Fear is something. Oh, good reroll. Keeper is just fucking embarrassing themselves right now. Dude, you are so ass. I don't know what else to say to you, buddy. You are the dirt and the dust. Here's your cleanse. Get out of my sight. Man, Jester's kind of hitting. What are you doing, Keeper? Maybe I might have rerolled a few repels here trying to high roll something better. I don't care. Broadsword study. I don't have a mana payout, but that doesn't mean I won't ever have a mana payout. Broadsword isn't crazy. I think it's pretty good, but who wants Broadsword, right? I think there's usually better things to be doing than 4 damage with your tier 7. Like, tier 7 I value very highly. I, I want something very good out of this. I think study is good enough. That's my, my hypothesis. I think study is good enough here. Fine. I don't... It, the, the path forward is very muddied. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Let me roll. Okay, now I can take a look. What am I actually looking at here? Okay, nobody's even dying. You gotta be respectful of the ghosties. I'm sorry, the, the snakesies, I mean. The ghosties are not here. Yeah, this is what I want. I'm gonna roll. There you go. I knew you could do it eventually, Keeper. So I can kill a knoll and a snake, or a knoll and a snake. Seems pretty easy. Uh, 
Uh, we should go mana, mana, flick. It's fine. We're all good. I found it. I gotta remember that burst is higher value. Dude, if burst is higher value, do you click artificer here? I don't think so. There's a very obvious reason why not. Maybe you see it, maybe you don't, but uh, Brawler goes crazy here. It's so, I take him for sure. Smash Poodle, no, I want this now. So it's very simple. This Brawler now has a steel side which if he rolls in com combination with Keeper hitting a, a shield, I will start just obliterating things, right? He doesn't have to roll it. He has a lot of other good qualities, but this is a combo for sure. Now let's count real quick. One, two, three, four, technically, but it's hard. Is there a good four? I don't think there's a good four. Oh well. But round one slate is usually a good sign. This is an okay four. Uh, it's not like I'm going for four on him. Poisoning Basalt right off the jump is okay, but I don't really want it. I'm gonna do four to this guy. One here. Three, one. Oh, you don't need this one. We can roll for better mana. Uh oh. Okay. Fine. Am I? Oh, you don't have the same HP. You go here. Wait, really? Oh, I gave Brawler fucking hat. Oh, my fault. My fault. Whoopsie. I forgot. That's not ideal. I'll be okay if I can go flick. Hmm. Definitely a whoops. I can remedy the single use if I feel it's necessary. I probably will want to do that. Oh yeah, for sure I remedy the single use now. Very glad I waited on that. Because I get to remedy the death as well. This is, it's actually exactly what I was saying. Remedy gets to cheat. Oh, it only clears one, really? It only clears single use or death. I didn't know that. I thought it would do both. Very interesting. Okay. Well, I'm not sweating that too much, because I'm just going to let it ride then. Ooh, or not. Hmm. That's fine. And I want to remedy the death next turn. Oh, Jester, no, not him. I can, so Basalt is a very slow play fight. We don't want to do anything drastic here. Three, yeah, for sure. I want to make sure that as many of my characters as possible are living for as long as possible in this fight. Because he doesn't do a whole lot of damage comparatively. If brother rolls mana or rolls cantrip first round, it's not my problem. <laughs> it's, it's not my problem. It's good because it happened to the least useful member of the team. Well, sorry, that may actually have been keeper this whole time. I don't care about that guy dying yet. Yeah, Basalt is just doing nothing to me right now. You only really get in trouble if he spams, like, weaken into slate into weaken into slate. But I also have the Basalt Annihilator here. Herbalist. 
Oh, we are taking our fucking time here, huh, team? Yeah, Basalt crushes this fight because of the slates. Makes life much easier. Orange and red, and you can hit Fencer for four. Oh, it's four, it's four, it's four, it's four. Of course. I think this is lethal. You see it? Chip, Rampage, Rampage. It's four. If you're... So first and foremost, before I do anything else, this needs to move. Getting everyone to nine HP for turn one is very good. Secondly, if you're sick and twisted, you can go Brimstone. I think you should always go Iron Blood Pendant here. And then plus three shielding on this guy. Or plus three shielding here, actually. It lets you play around the steel super well, because now, I mean, God, you roll what? You roll two mana. It's a lot. Oh, Chester, look out. My man. They're coming to get you, buddy. Okay, let me just see. Because I bet I can save him with this. There we go. Flick plus three. Burst plus two. Two for the stun. Burst. Burst. Vine. Uh, it should be fine. There's gonna be a lot of bones, but I don't mind. Oh, there's a lot of bones. Um, I need Rampage, please. It's acceptable, acceptable. Rampage, please. Okay. He can't miss, right? That's the beauty. He can't, like, he can't fuck up and die here. In the worst case, he's rolling me a two damage hit, which is also acceptable. This whip is really gonna make up bones and then fight this out. Leave this place. Forsaken Warlock. Uh, I mean, it's Warlock. It's not like this is a, hmm, what do I want here? It's it's definitely this guy. Forsaken isn't crazy, but she's also a little bit sick. It's a shame that Warlock doesn't have one less or one more HP here. That would be the ideal, but what can you do? I'm surprised at how long this bark skin has stayed on my fencer, by the way. This shit has really been holding up. Can I get three damage on this guy? Thank you. Can I get sick Bugatti? Obviously, you're just gonna explode that guy there. You know what? I know what I said earlier about just not bothering, but you know, I think I'll take lethal. Timestone Emerald Mirror. 567 is garbage. Uh, ooh, okay, I don't want that. Cantrip anything? You can give Fencer Cantrip Dodge and Cantrip 1 to all. Cantrip 1 to all is kind of sus with 2 damage engage. Cantrip Brawler isn't absurd, since he's going to be rolling to zero anyway. Yeah, I'll take this. It's not bad, it's just not, like, great either. It's fine. Yeah, he's always going to be rolling down for Steel or Rampage. Like, I just never lock him now, because he has no X's, so you can always roll for max value. Just make sure you don't waste it on a lock. If I lock, it has to be for something very good. Yeah, okay, whatever. Give me a moment. I gotta run the maths here. <sighs> right. Goes here. And 
that'll be fine. Although it is a little, we're a little more incentivized to burst now because I'm going to take one damage next turn if I don't. But spending down doesn't kill this Banshee and I can tank the one, so it's fine. Brawler is just one good turn away from wiping the fight. Never forget. He's got that dog in him. I'm gonna roll for it. Okay, brother. That's fine. Growth on the W, so I didn't even think about this. That's pretty cute. Orange, yellow, gray are dying here. I guess you can do this. Okay. But you're... Sometimes you're hitting something. Sure, why not? I don't mind. Something else of note here is I can play... I didn't think about this. Growth goes there. Oh, I think I might have just had lethal this whole time, huh? I sure did. Shaman Prophet. Well... We're into the hand. Does that change anything? I'm... Uh, also, Shaman's 9. That's probably not worth clicking Shaman on. It's almost certainly profit. Just an interesting thought. Profit doesn't do a ton in this fight, you know. We're going fast and loose here. It's kill or be killed. I'm happy to take the bark skin off. Just shocking that bark skin lasted so long. I put that on in round one and I was like, yeah, this is still good. That is six swords he's making for me. Here's the real question of the hour. Do you think my brawler will hit one of those cantrips in this round? Whoa, he did it. Shocking. Now hit me a steel side. Okay, whatever, buddy. I'd say you tried, but I don't like lying. I can actually just rescue him back to full. Kinda cute. Hmm. This is not a fight where we want to fuck around, basically. I don't want to sit here and try to soothe up. You will never outlive the hand. We are here gathered on this day to phase down our demons in Mortal Kombat. This is actually a pretty good draw. Let's see. What do we have? What do we have? In hindsight here, I probably should have moved the ego. Uh, it's like, or the dog, sorry. It's the same keyword, it's just like a different keyword. Hindsight's always much easier, isn't it? You get 14 mana? I mean, hold on. I'm close. Let me run this again. I bet I have lethal here. It's very hard, I think, to see. Let me go here. And then this is 9, which puts me to 14, which is two blazes and a burst. I ignore these savers. And I go hit, hit. Two blazes and a burst is 29. I have exactly so. Okay, I'm going to take it for sure. If these two sabers were not dying, I would not take this. But for sure, you go blaze, blaze, burst, kill. These three will always win from this spot. That's what you have to see there. For sure. You have to see that lethal. 
Uh, and now I just win out, for sure. Like, it's undoubted. This guy exerts himself. It's over. GG. Good run. Honestly. It's interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, the cantrip, by the way. Hmm. A nice one, brawler. It's interesting to look back at that mid-game that I had, because in, in theory, that shit should have been unplayable. But it was fine. I mean, you pick Whirl into Monster Pristine, everything's alright. I don't mind. I'm not complaining. Two deaths for our boy. I mean, that was... That was three deaths all run. Two of them were sacrifices on hand, and one of them was, I think, Jester rolling Cantrip death. So, yeah. I'm just saying, Monster Pristine, it feels like the curse to me. And also, this was kind of cool too, the poodle. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.